So hey folks, how you doing? Welcome to Canada's Foodie Club. I'm going to do some hobo cooking. Look at here, we got this big uh, heating pad. A couple of grills I made, some stones. And in there I'm cooking uh, steak with garlic and uh, a little bit of olive oil. And, and then there's some roasted potatoes in there and some quiche with spinach I bought. And then I'm going to cook some corn. And we are in the middle of Toronto, downtown Toronto. I'm cooking dinner on a little hot plate. Look at that. See, we're in downtown Toronto. We're down by the lake. We're at Ossington, Lower Ossington, and Queen West. And I'm sitting here, you can see all the people rushing home from work, slaving all day on their, their job. But here we are. We're cooking. Hobo cooking. So, I have some French toast here I made earlier. We're going to reheat that up. We'll put that in there. We'll put that down there. And then we heat up this French toast. I've been nibbling on it a bit. Keep the handle away from the plastic. There we go. Now I just rigged that up. A couple beer can, a beer, or that's a bowl can and some rocks from the construction over there and I just didn't I didn't know if it would make a burn on the concrete so I didn't want to do that I didn't want to get a fine or something like that but you know if you're a hobo this is how you would do it I'm guessing I don't know but this is the way I do it when back in the old days you see the hobos down at the track cooking so we got steak quiche and potatoes and we got toast here, and I'm gonna make some veggies. Oh, if I that one, just flip that like that. Look at that, eh? Doesn't that look good? Isn't that good, folks? Look at that. French toast, corn, and steak, potatoes, and quiche. And good old water to wash it down with. I was smart before I came to Toronto, stopped off at a I got a, uh, a well, or not a well, a spring I found, and I filled up a huge 100-gallon uh, uh, water jug and brought 100 gallons of spring water with me. So this is not store-bought water, that's spring water from home. There we go, I think that toast is almost ready. Almost. I don't know how you put these things out, but I'm assuming uh, you just let it burn out. As far as what you do is you put that at the bottom of a barbecue, put your grill over top. Uh, it's made by Bic. I already threw the packaging out, but you can check it out. Made by Bic. You peel the top off, like, and just poke with you. See those little holes there? You poke them with a little knife so the fluid will come out. And it's white alcohol, so you can you can use this inside a tent, but it, you can see it's got a good flame to it. So, there we go. Now we heat up some corn. And we're fixed. There we go. So heat that up, let that go nice. I've forgotten some of my spices. Usually I bring them, but I don't have any today. But corn just like that is good enough for me. I'm going to pour water on top of that. I'll see if that'll put it out. I'm thinking maybe just the lid from the frying pan might put it out. But uh, I'm going to pour water on it. I think that might put it out. Or just sit there and let it burn away. I think that's what I might do. I'll stay here until it goes out make sure it's done but it won't burn see there's no marks on the bottom so you guys can i want to see if there's marks on the uh on the stones after right so get it up here to the heat but it looks like this side has burnt itself out finally and we'll see okay bon appetit